Hello, everyone, uh, and welcome to uh, this demonstration of ACES. Uh, ACES is our execution uh, system for interim monitoring of clinical trials. I'm Cyrus Mehta. I'm uh, the president and co-founder of, of Cytel. I'm a biostatistician, and I use ACES often as an independent statistical center member uh, supporting data monitoring committees uh, on uh, clinical trials, both adaptive clinical trials as well as uh, regular non-adaptive clinical trials. Uh, and I found ACES to be a very useful tool in what I do, and I'm happy to demonstrate it to you. ACES stands for Access Control Execution System. This system is uh, particularly useful for monitoring uh, for, uh, as a tool when you are supporting sensitive documents for interim monitoring of uh, randomized clinical trials. So let me uh, first show you a few slides of what ACES actually can do and then uh, give you a live demo of ACES. So what is ACES? It's a, it's a web-based system. It's a web-based platform to help uh, clinical trials teams implement uh, both fixed and adaptive uh, clinical trials. And it's used primarily at the interim analysis stage when you are monitoring either safety or efficacy data uh, in an ongoing clinical trial. It manages the workflow of this ongoing trial. It has secure firewalls for, for, for storage and retrieval of sensitive documents. Uh, it, it has uh, the capabilities of generating, uh, uh, executing reports. Uh, it has access to uh, you know, many, many different browsers. And uh, most important of all, it has audit tracking capabilities for regulatory review. And I will show you all of these features in what follows. So document storage. It, it's a, it's a, you can think of it as a centralized repository for uh, protocols, uh, statistical analysis plans, uh, efficacy uh, analysis reports, safety reports, uh, and, uh, and any, any documents that are related to uh, an a ongoing clinical trial. More importantly, uh, access to these documents is role-based in that sense that uh, you only get to see the documents that you're entitled to see. As a, as a, a data monitoring committee member, you might be entitled to see a lot of documents which are uh, in closed sessions of these uh, interim um, monitoring meetings. But as a sponsor uh, or, or in, in, uh, as, as a uh, uh, CRO, you might be entitled to see many fewer documents. So it's role-based in that sense. Uh, and, and, and you can define which users have access to which of these different uh, documents. Um, you can easily uh, configure ACES to create new accounts, to define roles, and to provide access across different clinical trials. As I mentioned, it has secure firewalls. It has uh, global access to all major browsers, and uh, it, ha it is 21. CFR Part 11 compliant with, with audit tra tracking capabilities, which guarantees that you can bring up reports that show who accessed which documents at what time. So uh, I think that uh, without much more uh, formality, I will go into the ACES itself and, and illustrate all of these various uh, features of this software. So it's, as I said, it's browser-based. And uh, what you would do is you would bring up your uh, browser, typically Internet Explorer, and you would go to the ACES site. Where in, and this is a demo site, so the address is acesdemo.citel.com. If it was a, a study, it would be acesdemo.citel.com uh, forward slash, and then the name of the company or the name of the study. Uh, again, this is a demo site. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you how I log in as a member of the data monitoring committee. Then I log out from there, and I'll show you how I would log in as a sponsor. And again, log out of that, 
and then I would show you how I would log in as the administrator of this uh, um, system. We call the ADI, the Administrative uh, Design Implementer. So uh, let me first log in uh, as a DMC member. Imagine that we are in the middle of a trial and uh, a bunch of uh, documents have been created maybe at earlier uh, meetings as well as at the current meeting. And, uh, and now you uh, want to access these documents in preparation for the data monitoring committee meeting. In the old days, you would have shipped all these people would have shipped these documents to you by FedEx. Uh, now, of course, uh, they are stored electronically. And in ACES, it's particularly easy to access these documents electronically because you would have a user ID and a password. So in this case, the user ID for the DMC member is dmc.demo, dmc.demo. And the password for this uh, particular DMC member is also uh, is disguised, but I'll tell you what it is. It is DMC123 dollar sign. It's a it's password which only the DMC member knows. And then uh, having put in, logged in with your uh, user ID and password as a DMC member, you would uh, sign in. And when you sign in, you, what you see is a dashboard. This dashboard has a bunch of studies that, that you are working on. In this particular example, you're only working on one study, which is called demo1.study. So you would go to this study, and uh, you'd see, well, what are all the documents associated with this study? Uh, if you click on that uh, study uh, link, you see that there are uh, a, lo a lot of documents uh, and some of them have been opened, some of them are new, uh, and each document, uh, for each document there is a, there's a name, uh, there's a, a category to which it belongs, and there's a description of whether it's a, it's, an, it's a closed document or an open document. Now notice that as a DMC member, I'm entitled to view both closed and open documents. I will show you that when I log in as a sponsor, I will not be uh, uh, seeing any of the closed documents displayed. Uh, this uh, next column shows who updated, who uploaded the document. In this case, is the ADI, which stands for Adaptive Design Implementer or Administrator, the, the person who is sort of managing the loading, uploading, and downloading of documents for the study. And could be hosted by CITEL, could be hosted by the sponsor. Uh, this last uh, column here uh, tells you the history of access, who accessed this document and when. So if I click on it, I will, uh, I will get to see uh, all, all the different people who have accessed this document. Now, I'm going to uh, uh, filter these documents. There, these, there are too many of them. As you see, uh, there are all, all these different documents. Uh, uh, there, this, this is page one, this is page two, and page three. So clearly, you know, you, you want to have them organized in some way. And uh, here in ACES, they're organized by category. So I've, create, I've, I've, I've put all the documents that uh, were associated with the 2010 closed session minutes in, in this uh, uh, folder or category. And if I click on it, I see that there's only one. It's, it's just the actual minutes. If I go, for instance, to the June safety meeting in 2012, then I'll see there are three documents here available. Uh, there's one closed document, uh, one open document, and one document which was created by the sponsor. Again, remember, I'm a DMC member, so I can see all of them a sponsor would probably not have access to this closed document. Now, uh, these documents, are, there's, there's links to them, so I can click on a link and, uh, and, and I can see what's in there. So if I click on, for instance, this June safety closed report of 2012, then the document, uh, 
gets downloaded. I have a, cho a choice here at the bottom, either to open it or to save it. I can just say, if I don't want to save it to my uh, uh, lap, to my hard drive, I can just open it and leave it in ACES. And of course, I, if this is a dummy site with dummy documents, so all it says is that this is a, the safety closed report. Uh, in, in a real trial, this would actually be the report with all the sensitive information uh, contained within it. So you can display all the files within the study, and then you can organize them by category, and you can download uh, and all open files from within. Uh, so if I go, for example, to this link here, then this, uh, this link has all the protocol documents for the studies. I, I see that I've got the PDF file for the protocol, I've got the interim statistical analysis plan, I've got uh, a final analysis, statistical analysis plan, and I've got a charter for the DSMB. It's all stored over here. And uh, some of them may be available to the sponsor, some of them may not be available to the sponsor. So, so for instance, this, this, this document over here, study one, two, three, interim SAP restricted PDF, that restricted PDF is available to the DMC, but not to the sponsor. Uh, 